Now, maybe you're wondering, what the hell is she doing in this dress? Well, I actually thought I'd just do a very quick um, how to create a Christmas tree dress tutorial for other YouTubers that aren't quite following a Vlogmas. But uh, I just, I'm very proud of this dress. A, it was really quick. B, I love creating things. C, I'm a little bit weird. <laughs> and, uh, and it's something that I get to keep forever and it's got memories. Because every year, um, if I can fit it into my uh, Christmas schedule with all the baking and things, I always have to try and surprise my fiance on Christmas morning. Now this isn't a surprise anymore because um, we've seen how many um, baking things that I do. It takes up a lot of time. Just a minute, one second. I got it. But um, the very first year uh, me and my fiance were dating, dating. Um, I actually dressed up as a Christmas present, a big in a big Christmas box. I went to Marks and Spencers and bought some gorgeous white and red floral flock Christmas paper. And um, I used a huge um, delivery box from my old shop and I, I just covered it completely. Then I put um, a big red ribbon and a bow on it. And I wanted to put a hat on it too, but stupidly um, forgot to put armholes in the box. So when I got the box on, I was just I'm like, oh, I need help here, obviously. Um, couldn't get any help so that I had to scrap so uh, we had a huge argument actually that morning because I said I wanted to get dressed ready for Christmas Day uh, oh no um, you don't have time for that let's go and eat let's go and open my presents look can you just give me five minutes please I want to do my hair and makeup blah 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 and I purposely got out of bed um, before we actually woke up so I could try and beat it and want to get in the shower and he annoyingly woke up at the same time as me. So in the end I said, look, just make, go downstairs and make us a coffee, will you? <laughs> and it was getting really, really, really annoyed. And um, I just thought, there was just no way of just, I just could not say it any more tactfully, really. And then in the end, <laughs> he's walking into the living room where I used to live and I stood like this. And he's got a coffee tray in his hand, really annoyed, and just looked at me like, oh, <laughs> that's why. And I went to Debenhams and bought white stockings, some some red shoes. Uh, I went all out on it, and it was a lot of fun. It wasn't the cheapest do in the end, but I just thought it was just something cool. And when you do something like that, you've got to keep it up every year. So I think the next year, I may have done this can't remember if that was the next year and then the following year I secretly dressed up as a Hooters girl underneath my clothes and uh, and then I got the best year in this dress so um, I think I'm going to wear this on Christmas Day I might not if you think that's a little bit stupid mad because I'm going to my in-laws for uh, for dinner so let me know if you think it's a good idea or a bad idea I might just wear just a, a, um, a lovely classic dress all the Christmas jumpers uh, that uh, they actually bought us for Christmas. So uh, yeah, I don't know yet, but I just thought I'd dress up and just show you. And then I thought, right, so I'm now going to do all the things that I wanted to do, uh, like gingerbread making. I'm just so, in fact, I'm gonna, let's just lower this down, because my knees hurt now. Um, yeah, I really want to do some gingerbread men today because I've just seen gingerbread in so many Vlogmases, and it's doing my nutty now. I just I can't settle till I actually bake some or buy some. And there's not a bakery in my village. But the risk is if I bake um, some gingerbread men, obviously there's going to be more than one in the house and I'll just, we'll have to eat them all. But um, I've seen Maria from um, Cozy Comfy Couch, one. <laughs> She's been baking them. So did Helen from organized family chaos UK but unfortunately she's had a really bad experience with um, YouTube and she started out the same time as me and Maria and uh, so she, she decided to make it private so I'm absolutely gutted and I hope she gains confidence to come back and um, Attic Anatomy she's been doing them and then Elaine uh, 12 Jones she's got teddy bears of 
um, gingerbread men in a house and they're matching ones like a little couple and then to top it off the icing on the cake my uni friend posted absolutely loads of gingerbread men um, cutouts yesterday um, with his girlfriend and I just thought no I just said on Facebook not you two this is driving me mad I just want some now <laughs> I really want a gingerbread man in my mouth and he'd done really cool dinosaurs and houses and oh, they'd obviously had a marathon of gingerbread baking so I'm going to try and do some today with my Home Bargains um, Christmas Tree and Gingerbread Man cutouts. So I've never done them before, I'm, I was just hoping to buy some. Oh and I saw a relative eat them at the weekend and I really wanted to know where they got them from because it looked tasty but I didn't, I didn't want to ask where they got it from because I just knew they were going to turn around and say oh do you want one? I did not want to come across as a scrounger, I wasn't after theirs, I wanted to go out and buy my own so it's baking time. And um, I also want to bake uh, quite a few uh, things just just to use up some of the random leftover ingredients because I've got cherries. Um, I was going to do um, cherries in um, in melted chocolate and let them dry like petit fours, um, but my fiance said soak them in brandy and I thought, cracking idea. So I'm going to soak those in brandy overnight, and then they're going to be like cherry liqueurs. I'm looking forward to those. And I still need to do some mince pies because we haven't given the neighbours uh, their gifts yet. And I just think if I go around with mince pies as well, uh, they've been pestering us to go over for a coffee. And I just think that's an absolute perfect coffee and mince pie. If they're not available for it, then, then that's fine. I'll just drop the presents off. And uh, apart from doing some worky things, I, I've, and I've also got to pack. Yeah, I've, I've just got so much to do. So uh, that's why I'm talking really, really fast. So yeah. I'm glad I've shown you my dress properly. Oh, and finally I get to show you my boots, although you can see my funny socks. Um, yesterday I was just singing the, these boots are made for walking. So I love these River Island uh, white painted leather boots. And I've been looking for a really nice white boot for years. If you've ever seen the film Carry On Loving, there's a girl, there's a couple that are constantly snogging in every scene, almost and this girl's legs are in the air and all sorts and she's wearing some really cool knee-high white leather boots I've never ever been able to find boots like it but this is the closest thing with a vintage look and these are River Island Really, really, oh, that's so gorgeous. So sweet and mm, divine. I can't drink any more though because I might have to drive later. So I've managed to fill up my Slivovitz or Slivovich, as you know. I think I got that right the second time then. And um, I've actually um, put, I've weighed out all of the plums the, that are absolutely soaked in brandy. And um, so I've put them all in my jam pan and matched the same quantity with sugar but what I'm really impressed with was today I wanted to set out to try and use up most of the ingredients so I didn't have to wait till the following year and think oh should I use them are they off and I've got the exact same quantity of sugar as I do in plums which is, and I'm really impressed it's not all the same type of sugar and I don't think it really matters with jam I've, I've mixed and matched before you that I'm, I've bitten a snowman's head off but this is exactly what I needed I've been craving this since possibly the first week in December but it was a very mild craving and it's got 
stronger and stronger and stronger as I've seen people's videos. I'm still in my bloody Christmas dress, and I'm meant to be wearing this for Christmas Day. But this is absolutely delicious. I've never made these before, and I'm surprised. It actually looks pretty damn perfect. And I've got a production line going on at the minute. Um, and I've followed the Delia Smith recipe, so I'll put that in the down bar below if anybody hasn't done theirs. Mmm. Really delicious. I was a bit worried about them because I ran out of bicarbonate of soda. Um, I only had half a teaspoon. Sorry, a quarter of a teaspoon. So I had to make the rest up with baking powder. But I love this. I haven't even decorated them, I just thought. Mm. Anyway, folks, I've got to go. I am on my fourth one, I think. Um, my face is very, very pink right now because it's hot in my kitchen. And the jam looks like it may not set. So I'm going to end the vlog here. And hopefully everybody's having a fantastic Christmas. And thank you so much to all my subscribers for watching. And um, again, to those who are entertaining me through Christmas as well. Maria, Elaine, Helen. Um, unfortunately, she's not on here anymore. Um, Attic Anatomy. Um, Sue from The Real uh, Brits of NY. The Steve Vlogs as well. I can't think of anybody else that I've, I may have missed. So, um, if you do like the, these videos, then please give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Mm. And in the new year, shouldn't have done that. In the new year, I'll be doing a lot more tutorials and beauty things, and but I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with the vlogging um, on a daily basis because I've got a business to run as well, unfortunately. But thank you so much for watching and I will be putting a video on tomorrow but after that it may be a bit hit and miss but I'll certainly be taking um, some films of some fantastic scenery, beaches and so many things and hopefully my fiancé has agreed to film my Christmas present haul as I open them. We'll see because I'm really looking forward to them. Some I know what I'm getting and some I, well, like anybody else. Right, thanks for watching. Bye.